to Noak stepped off this plane with her head covered. It was quickly led down the stairs of the jetway and into a waiting police car. The first order of business for the accused astronaut, a medical examination at Johnson Space Center. They saw no indication of big concern with Lisa, but that is part of the review that we want to embark upon is um, to go back, you know, obviously hindsight is 2020, and, and see if there was anything that we missed along the way. The space community is abuzz with talk of Noak and her cross-country trip to confront an alleged romantic rival. Officials hope the headlines, including those about Noak wearing diapers, won't be a distraction. We, we have humans in space right now, and uh, we got some challenging missions ahead of us, and uh, that's what's important. We need to stay focused on it and make sure that uh, we do it right. But for now, NOAC seems to be the focus, even for the Space Center tourists. The surprise is somebody so professional would break down and do something crazy like that. But what struck me is that she wore a diaper to, in order to get to where she was going, and it was just like, oh my word, you know, like, this woman is mad, very angry, very, uh, something went berserk in her life where she thinks she has to do that. Now NASA says the space agency will review its psychological screening process. NASA will not be conducting any formal investigation. Um, she's on leave from the agency for 30 days, and uh, we will we'll just let the judicial process in Orlando take, uh, take place, and uh, we'll just follow those developments, and if any you know, actions required at, at that point, we'll that'll be decided later. The big question now, where is Lisa Nowak? She hasn't been seen publicly since getting off the plane here in Houston Wednesday morning, and we're told she's already left Johnson Space Center. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Houston.